What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about if The Wolf Among Us 2 will release in 2020. Now, this was, I think, in, in my opinion, the biggest thing that happened at the Game Awards. Now, every year, I always get hyped up. I always get amped up about the Game Awards. I always have all these predictions. I always, you know, and, and the internet does as well. We've talked about it in the past, in the past even couple videos of really does seem like every year, the Game Awards is just the buildup of all of the hopes all of the you know quote unquote leaks and rumors of the fall and then it leads up into the game awards and you just expect all of those things to be you know happening at the game awards and then next to none happen at the game awards now and the wolf among us was something that nobody really had been talking about now we knew telltale had come back now you can debate how moral that actually is and 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 if you dig into what actually was happening you know they didn't bring back all that many people that were actually from telltale they kind of just brought it back and said hey it's Telltale Games kind of to get that name back. You can debate, again, like the moral of their, you know, of like the heads of, of that decision making or, you know, if that's like bad practice or whatever. But at the same time, okay, so Telltale was back and we did know that a few months ago. So I feel like the hope was always there. And we had talked about this back when Skybound saved The Walking Dead. And I even made a video saying, could Skybound save uh, Wolf Among Us? And, and would that be a possibility? Now, this isn't Skybound. This is Telltale. Again, this is the, the bringing back of the name of some people that worked there, not everybody. And you can't expect everybody that was ever there to get rehired. I totally get that. But this was exciting. This was honestly, again, my like thing of the show. I mean, when this was first showed, I was like, oh, like you could tell immediately that that's what this was. And then when they, you know, showed it, Wolf Among Us 2, Telltale was like, oh, boy, this is, this is awesome. Now, you know, I, I looked online because I wanted to just see like, you know, with all these announcements, I really didn't feel like there was all that much talk uh, beyond them. Even with like a Hellblade 2, that was a real, and obviously the Xbox, and I, I get it. Like, yeah, they showed the new Xbox console. I still think the Wolf Among Us 2 was a bigger thing, but they did show some big things and talk about some big things, but if you go online or if you looked up a lot of the stuff afterwards, there really wasn't a lot like expanded upon afterwards. With the Wolf Among Us, it's the same thing. They announced it, but then if you go like and look it up, there's nothing. There, nobody you know, they haven't said anything. There was never really, there's not like a press thing that came out from Telltale to go along with that announcement. There's no release. There's no idea of anything that's really going on. We don't even technically know how many episodes. I mean, you can assume five, but yet again, The Walking Dead was different. And I, I get some of that was Telltale and some of it wasn't. Uh, so like, we don't even know how many episodes there are, which is a good discussion to have as well. And actually, I wanted to make, start making Wolf Among Us videos anyway, which is really, really odd timing. Um, but obviously now it just lines up. So there is no 2020 release. And in fact, some articles I was reading, they sounded very, very skeptical about it. And I get it. Telltale just kind of came back and rebranded itself. But I, I, I do understand maybe they just don't have enough time in general. But they showed that. They actually showed something. Now, an entire episode or an entire you know season of episodes that takes a lot of work. Okay, I know that is that that takes some time and it's not going to be done overnight. And I understand that. At the same time, you have to assume that maybe there was our and they already did start working on stuff. Wolf Among Us. Remember a few years ago they announced the Wolf Among Us season two or the Wolf Among Us two that they were like beginning production on it that it would be coming out like the following year or right after The Walking Dead. So you have to imagine there were some things and it looked identical, you have to imagine there were some things already worked on. Now, did they take all of those things? Probably not. Did they take some of them? I think so. You know, if they had an entire storyboard, like, concept of what they wanted to do, are they going to, you know, do that entirely? You know, are they going to do one for one and just take that for themselves? I don't know. I don't know. And, and that's that's some of the stuff I feel like we're going to hear when the game gets formally, like, shown off and we start to get the episodes and people are talking about it. I wonder if they'll come out and say, hey, a lot of this was what we originally had planned on doing, but then when Telltale shut down and when it got scrapped, uh, you know, then we had to pick it back up. But again, some of these people are different. These aren't necessarily the same. In fact, they're not. They're not the same people. Some of them are, but not all of them. The same people that probably originally did the first draft or however you want to, the pre-production of The Wolf Among Us 2. So it's going to be really interesting, but... I will hold on to that idea that they probably are going to use some of it. They are, and, and another thing is, if it's to, if 
it's 2020. It could be a next-generation game, and if that's the case, we've heard so much about the next-gen, and while rumor has it the Xbox, the, the you know Series X, is a little difficult to work on and developers aren't necessarily happy with it, one of the main things we've heard about PlayStation is the fact that they have designed it and, and they've said they want faster development times, or they not necessarily they want, but they think that developers can just make games quicker on this next generation of consoles. So that's really cool, and if that's true, true maybe that speeds things up honestly that could speed up ever you know we talk about a lot of games on this channel and talk about a lot of possibilities or potential for a game to release this year or that year or whatever a lot of those things can definitely be you know you know fast track to the front depending on truly how easy it is or how fast it is to make a game on the ps5 so and i get it like you have to you know if it's going to come out same time as xbox like you have to figure that one out too but it, it, it's a positive sign. No matter what, it's a positive sign. I don't think it's as insane as, I again, I've read or I've seen on, in articles that it could premiere. And it's because it would just premiere. I feel like the possibility of the first episode premiering like next fall is very high. I truly do because you just have one episode. You have one episode next fall, say in October, November, and you need to have a consistent launch thing, you know, launch uh, window of these episodes. So if you have one, you say, okay, every three months, Months, we're going to give you a brand new one. It's not that hard to believe. Like, yeah, by the time episode one comes out, maybe they've only been working on it for like a year and a half. But again, maybe they worked on it for like half a year before, you know, again, with like the original idea of it. And they used a lot of that. So, you know, it's not necessarily taking a year and a half and adding half a year. And I'm just throwing around numbers. I don't know the official time. But you know what I mean? It's not that hard to believe. And these games, you know, especially, <laughs> here's what I don't want. Telltale has been known to do the whole, like, let's just make every single game humanly possible. We're going to have, like, seven different divisions of people making these games, and let's just get them all out. So I don't want these games forced. I don't want these games rushed. But Telltale isn't exactly known for taking their time either, even though sometimes they do. I mean, between different seasons of games that we have gotten seasons, they have had a couple years off. But... You know, at the same time, they've had a lot of properties come out in general. It's not unheard of that it could only take, like, two, like when you hear two years to develop a game. That is still, I believe, pretty darn short when it comes to game development time. Normally, you get around, like, three years. Three years is kind of the average. A lot take more. A lot take four or five years. And you don't really, there's not that many games out there that take less, like two year, especially like one year. I mean, one year in sports games is true. Um, but besides sports games, most games take at least two to three years. But two is kind of that minority. You don't really hear about that. So I get why that may sound like off-putting and maybe that's not true. But at the same time, it's totally possible. Again, even with what we've heard of next generation consoles being faster, maybe they can fast track it. Maybe there was more of it completed in the first place than we thought. And that could very well be the case. Maybe they already had quite a bit done. Obviously not enough, but they had quite a bit done the first time and they're going to take a lot of that. It could be. And at the same time, there are, listen, there are company like the people making the game, they're going to make the game. Okay, they're going to work as hard as they can. I think they're extremely talented. The first game was phenomenal and I cannot wait to play a second game. At the same time, though, they want money. I mean, the whole purpose of owning a company and, and making games is to make, like, yeah, you're doing it. The people making the game, they're doing it so that we can play and enjoy their product. But the people above them are doing it to make money so that they can make more games to make more money. That's literally just how the world works. I wouldn't get mad at anybody if they even, if they even said that out loud. I wouldn't get mad. My point is, if that's the case, you can sometimes make decision making based off of that. If they want this game out to it's just out in the public so they can start earning some revenue, then you may look you may be able to see them taking these kind of shortcuts which at the same time may not even be that that big of shortcuts. You know, if they want to take a lot of what has already been done and say, "Hey, if you can work with this, this is a whole lot better than starting from ground zero and starting over again, right? If you can take what was already worked on and implement your own stuff to it, then we're already much closer to it being done than we would be if we just started from scratch. And so that's a decision that they 
have already made easily they've already made it I, again i'm going to be very very interested when they actually tell us yeah we you know we started from scratch maybe we took some inspiration but we didn't do much with it or they say yeah you know what a good foundation was already built we just took that and we kept going with it and that could very well be what they end up saying i think 2020 is a very strong possibility i don't think the entire season again i feel like one episode episode one of wolf among us two i feel like that could premiere and could come out uh, around the fall, October, November, even December. It's an episodic game. They don't have to come out in the you know structured uh, way that games come out. Uh, you know, again, like we've talked about it, September through November are generally when a lot of those games come out for the fall because it comes out before Black Friday, before Christmas, all that kind of stuff. Not a lot of games release in December, but episodic games don't necessarily follow those rules. We had one this year, Life is Strange, that ended in December. And, and episodic games, I believe, Telltale is The Walking Dead, the very first season of The Walking Walking Dead, I believe that came out like the day before Thanksgiving, the very first season. So they have weird times they come out. They're not really bound by the, the kind of law, not necessarily, I mean, you know, the structure that a lot of games follow. It could come out in December, it could come out mid-December. They could really push it to the last second of 2020, which would make my prediction right. So I believe episode one, 2020, mark it. That's my prediction. Guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about Wolf Among Us 2 in general? When do you think we would see the first episode? Let me know all those things in the comments below. I want to, again, make more videos. I already had planned on making more videos about Wolf Among Us, and now I feel like it could be a whole lot easier to do that. So we'll be talking about more things about maybe the game's development. We'll be talking about ideas for the game in general in terms of story, in terms of what we'll actually be doing. All those kind of things coming to the channel very, very soon. So make sure you're subscribed. Have that bell icon hit because we'll have more Wolf Among Us 2 content very, very soon. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you all on the next video. Hey guys, firstly, thank you so much for getting to this far, this at the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. I do want to quickly remind you guys, we are doing a community event on December 21st. It is the Saturday. It's from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you guys want to play with us, we have the video up on the channel. Make sure you guys go watch that video and leave in the comments that you want to play with us. It's also a live stream event, so you guys just want to kind of swing by, watch us play the game, have some fun right before Christmas. It's going to be an absolute blast. And I hope to see you guys there.